Ladies and gentlemen, I've been dumb. I'm going to beat Joe Biden. Gallup reported last week 56% of Americans said that they were better off today than they were four years ago, would have been under the Obama-Biden administration. So why should people who feel that they are better off today under the Trump administration vote for you? Well, if they think that, they probably shouldn't. They think 54% of American people are better off economically today than they were in our administration. So why should people who feel that they are better off today vote for you? Well, if they think that, they probably shouldn't. Fifty-six percent of Americans. Fifty-four percent. So why should people who feel that they are better off today vote for you? They probably shouldn't. In replacing pipeline. You have to go vote for somebody else. All right, thanks so much, sir. I did not expect to be told to leave to go vote for somebody else and then to be lectured about. You have to go vote for somebody else. I don't think he can beat Trump. You have to go vote for somebody else. I really don't. And and you have. And you have actively telling people like me, don't vote for me, go vote for somebody else. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> that's not helpful at all. So why should people vote for you? They probably shouldn't. You have to go vote for somebody else. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. Go vote for somebody else. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. I'm running as a proud Democrat for the Senate. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. Look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other by. Look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other by. So why should people vote for you? They probably shouldn't. Go vote for somebody else. Vote for the other by I'm about. If they are going to do things that are stupid as well as immoral, then they're probably too dumb to have the job of president. I've done some dumb things, and I'll do dumb things again. So ladies and gentlemen, I've been dumb. Go vote for somebody else. Look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other by So the dilemma's been, you know, how much do I let my frustration show? I'm beginning to see why your wife left you. You lying dog face pony soldier. I just want to say, Jack. Don't poke that in my face, okay, buddy? I got folks for that bill. Focus on this man, what he's doing. Wait, 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 you're getting nervous, man. Not a joke, fact. Which way am I going? I'm prepared to say that I have a record of over 40 years. Everyone, 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 as my father would say, is entitled to be treated with dignity and respect, and we're not doing it. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. We already have a nigger mayor. We don't need any more nigger big shots. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. So, for like, am I, I'm not joking. So why should people vote for you? They probably shouldn't. Go vote for somebody else. We don't need any more nigger big shots. It was hurtful to hear you talk about the reputation of two United States senators who built their reputation and career on the segregation of race in this country. Are you going to I apologize? Like Cory Booker apologize for what? For what? For what? If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black. We already have a nigger mayor. We don't need any more nigger big shots. I've done some dumb things, and I'll do dumb things again. But ladies and gentlemen, 
I've been dumb. I'll vote for somebody else. If they are going to do things that are stupid as well as immoral, then they're probably too dumb to have the job of president. The voters are going to have to decide whether he was dishonest or dumb. He did not graduate in the top half of his law school class, that he does not have three degrees from college, and that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. Newsweek says Biden actually went to school on a half scholarship, ended up near the bottom of his class, and won only one degree, not three. Joe Biden ranked 76th in a class of 85 at the University of Syracuse Law School. I mean, this guy comes off this whole thing as a flyweight. I'm running as a proud Democrat for the Senate. I have a record of over 40 years and that I'm going to beat Joe Biden. Someday I might get a butt tattoo. <laughs>